Right, tape number 17, um, still looking at the topic of corporation tax. Now, in this particular session, we're going to have a look at another example, which is one that I would like you to have a look at on your own. Um, this example in your class notes is called Half-Life Limited. Now, this one is sort of there to demonstrate what we've talked about regarding losses. Um, in this particular question, if you have a look at it, you'll notice that it's got two trading losses. Um, it says Half-Life starts trading and they cease trading and you've got all the results from the first cap to the final one. And the way you have to deal with this particular question, I mean, first of all, in part A, it says, assuming that Half-Life claims the maximum possible relief for its losses, calculate the taxable total profits for the various uh, caps that you've, um, you've got. So, I mean, the exam technique is, is obviously to set up uh, in part A all the caps across the page and then your pro forma down the left hand side. So you'd have your P and your O and your R and your C and your I. And remember that in the year to December 2010, uh, because the company's made a trading loss in that cap, you'll put P is nil for that particular cap. Now that loss can be used under in the current year, which is going to be so once you've got your total profits, you'll have section 37 current for that loss. And, you know, maybe you could do that in, in a blue colour, for example, to illustrate that loss. And that loss, some of that loss will be deducted from total profits. So that would use up, if you think about it, 4,400 of that loss. Now, obviously, that's going to leave you with some loss. Um, so you've got your Section 37 current, and then you'd have underneath that, still in blue, Section 37 carry back. And you then carry the loss back for 12 months. So you carry back to December 09. And obviously, adding up your P and your R and your chargeable gains, the remaining loss uh, will be deducted from that. Now, if at the end of that you still have some loss left over, you would normally want to carry that forward and deduct it from P. But if you look forward, you've got another loss, so that's not going to be possible. So the balance of the 61,700, which you haven't used up in the current or carry back period, is therefore going to be wasted. Still, you know, using all your columns, I mean, you then have a, the year to December 10, and obviously your P in that cap will be nil as well. At the same place in the pro forma, you could maybe in a red colour have section 39 current, because this is now going to be a terminal loss, and section 39 carry back. So, um, and maybe have that in a red colour, and you'd use up um, some of your 23,700 of the, the loss in the current year, and then the balance would be carried back now for 36 months. So remember that if you carry back to here, that's 12 months, that's another 12 months, and that's six months. So that would be uh, 30 months, and then six months, half of, of that particular uh, period back to there. So obviously, you know, you're going to then work out your taxable total profits after deducting the losses. In part B, it says uh, state the dates for making the necessary claims. And finally, the last part wants you to work out the corporation tax refunds. Now, in part A, what you've done is you've sort of shown how the company is going to carry back the losses. So what you need to do in part C is to work out what the original CT was in the caps that you've carried the losses back to work out what the original was, and in part A you can work out what the revised figure is, and then you could work out your refund. Now remember that only when you carry back a loss will that give rise to a CT refund. So have a little go at that particular example. Remember the answers to your um, class notes are all at the end of each chapter, so you can check to see whether you have got it right or not. So good luck with that. So that's the end of that session. So um, that was session number 17. And in that session, that's what we've covered.